Hey, what's up everybody? It's the High Finney here. And today we're gonna to talk about a new budget dual wireless microphone system made by Murpak Audio, the Wii 10 Pro. Now the Wii 10 Pro is a dual wireless system, whereas the Wii 10 is just a single wireless system. With this one, it's pretty much the exact same thing, but you have two transmitters so that two different people can be mic'd up. Now I'm currently filming this video with the Wii 10 Pro. Now the Wii 10 Pro and the Wii 10 have transmitters that have a built-in mic, though personally I never use any of the built-in mics on any wireless system, this brand or any other brand. Clipping this onto your shirt is just way too large and does not look good. The great thing about this is that it has a 3.5 millimeter jack and an included lavalier mic, so that way you can actually have a better source of audio. So I always recommend using the lavalier mics if your system comes with one, and this one comes with a lavalier mic for each of the transmitters. In a moment, I'm gonna show you guys an outdoor test with two people and then an indoor test with two people. And then after that, I'm gonna go over a full breakdown of the transmitters and the receiver. But I wanna first touch on this very important detail. Both transmitters send a mono source into the receiver. So if I have just one mic on, then you're gonna hear this signal on both the left and the right channels. Now, if you have both transmitters on and you have two people mic'd up, both of their audios are gonna be merged on both the left and the right channels. Some dual channel wireless microphone systems have a stereo mode where you can have one transmitter on one channel, so the left, and then the other transmitter on the right. So that way they're separated and then in post you can separate those two channels to have them both mixed and adjusted in post, edited or mixed to sound better and then you turn them into mono so they can both be on both left and right speakers. But with the Wii 10 Pro, there's no way to separate them. So you're always gonna be recording both channels, both signals, transmitter one and transmitter two, always on the exact same track and there's no way to separate them. So make sure to keep that in mind when you're setting your audio levels. If you have both mics on, you wanna make sure that you leave enough room so that way when both people are talking, the signal is not clipping. Now there is one big advantage to having both transmitters going to the same source at all times. And it's that no matter what transmitter you turn on, you're good to go. So if you wanna use one transmitter only and have only one person talking, like for example, right now, I can grab any one of the transmitters and I'm good to go. So if the battery dies on one of them, I can just switch to the other one and I can continue going. Or if I have two people mic'd up, I don't have to worry about which channel goes to what. They're both always gonna be recorded to both left and right speakers. All right, so now we're gonna do an outdoor test and today I have a special guest. Hi, I'm Logan Luke. And Logan has a YouTube gaming channel and a main channel as well. We're gonna be walking around. I'm gonna ask you some questions, Logan, and then we'll see how the mics pick up now with pretty much all wireless microphone systems that are 2.4 gigahertz, such as this system, you want a straight line of sight. So you want the transmitter and the receiver directly line, in, line of sight. You don't want to turn around. When you start to turn around, go ahead and turn around, Logan, and go ahead and talk. Hi. Hi. What's uh, your favorite color? Blue. My favorite color is blue. Nice. And my favorite color is red. Now, some of that might have been a little choppy. As your body starts to block the transmitter and the receiver uh, line of sight, it does get a little interference. but if we try to stay forward now, move around, Logan. I'm gonna move around this way. So go ahead and move around a little distance to your right. Um, so you have a main channel, Logan Luke TV Gaming, and then a gaming channel. And what games do you like to play? I like to play Splatoon 2 on the Nintendo Switch, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Animal Crossing Horizon. And Smash Bros. Is your favorite character? Um, Uh, what's your favorite ice cream? Uh, cotton candy ice cream. So do you have a second favorite? Vanilla. All right. And are you hungry now is a, is a good question. Not really. No, I'm very hungry. All right. That's the outdoor test. All right. So now we're going to do an indoor test. Logan, Luke, I'm going to ask you a set of questions and make sure you answer truthfully because we have a lie detector test on you. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we don't. Uh, what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy is the cotton candy lollipops. So you like cotton candy lollipops and cotton candy ice cream? Yes. Who is your favorite Marvel character? Spider-Man, because he's cool. I like cool. That's mm -hmm. a good reason, because he's cool. Yeah. Um, Spider-Man's had a lot of different costumes throughout the years. What's your favorite Spider-Man costume? My favorite Spider-Man costume is the MCU Iron Spider suit. Sick. That's a good one. From Infinity War? Yeah. And Endgame. And Endgame. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the receiver, it has this plastic glossy finish on it. 
which personally I'm not a big fan of because you see scratches very easily on here. Now on one side of the receiver, we have the power button. Hold that on for about three seconds and then it'll turn on. On that same side, you have a headphone monitoring jack so that way you can monitor your audio directly from here if your camera does not have a headphone jack. And then the 3.5 millimeter jack here on the top is what connects to the actual camera or phone. And then on the other side, we have a DB button to change the gain input from the transmitter, a mute button for the transmitter, as well as a low cut for the transmitter so that way it'll cut down low frequencies. Now, personally, I don't use the low cut. I prefer to cut any lower frequencies in post. When you click on the mute button, you'll actually see that there's a little symbol here with the audio and a slash through it. So that way you know that there's no audio input coming in here. Click it again, and then now all the settings resume, and so that way you can see that there are actual signals coming in. And then again, the DB button changes the gain input, which I'll show you right now. So here's the screen on the receiver. You have a battery indicator for the receiver. It doesn't show the battery of the transmitter, unfortunately. And then here on the top left, there are these connection bars to let you know how well connected the receiver and the transmitter are, and that way you can see if it's getting out of range. Then here you see the levels actually moving. On the bottom left, you have your dB. When you click on that dB button, it'll tell you the actual input. So now we have negative 18 dB, negative 6 dB, 0 dB, plus 3, plus 6, and then back to negative 18. On the bottom right corner is the low cut filter. So when you click on the low cut button, it'll actually cut at 170 hertz. Click it again and at 230 hertz, and then click it again, it's at zero, so no low cut. Again, personally, I prefer no low cut. And then here on the side where the DB mute and low cut buttons are, there's also a USB type C port, and this is how you charge the unit. When the unit is off and it's charging, it does show you a meter here of the charge status. Now here's the transmitter. On one side, we have a power button. Again, hold that power button until it turns on. You'll see three LED indicators. You'll see a charge, a line, and a record. When the line is blue and lit up, that means it's connected to the receiver. When the unit is off and charging, you'll see a blue light where it says charge. The light will turn off when it's fully charged. And then here you see that there's an LED for record. Now, a really awesome thing about this unit is that, let's go ahead and flip this to the other side. There's a micro SD slot here. So you can actually put a micro SD in here and record directly into the SD card. So that way, if there are any issues with the transmitter or if there's any interference or let's just say something goes bad with the connection and then your audio gets ruined on the camera you can actually have the audio recording in that sd card so then you can actually work with that in post and then you can just sync it with your video later now personally i think that's brilliant and i think every wireless microphone system should have this moving forward being able to record a backup copy directly into the transmitter allows you to actually be able to take this anywhere and just record directly even without the receiver. You don't even need to use the wireless aspect if you just need to record directly into here. So let's say you are in an environment that has terrible, terrible reception or there's a lot of frequencies going around that make it where this doesn't work or a lot of walls, a lot of interference, etc. Being able to have a clean recording directly in here is a lifesaver. When there's a micro SD card in here, all you have to do is flip this switch from stop to record and it'll automatically start recording until that either gets stopped or the SD card gets full. Again, if you wanna stop it, then just go ahead and switch it back to stop. It's really that simple, super intuitive and an incredible feature to have. And then next to the micro SD slot is a USB type C port for charging. Now on the top of the transmitter, you have the built-in microphone, or if you wanna use the included lavalier mic, then there is a mic input here, a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can put this mic that's included or any other lavalier mic. Now on the bottom, both units have clips that fit into any cold shoe so that you can easily put this onto your camera or any other cold shoe mount. Now here's the included lavalier mic that comes with the system. Again, it's a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can plug this in directly into the transmitter. Now, the microphone itself is not premium. It's not something super incredible, but it does sound better than the built-in mic on the transmitter, so I highly recommend using this if you can. One thing that's awesome that the WeTem Pro package comes with is a charge cable that is actually able to charge all three devices, both transmitters and the receiver with just one cable. Now, I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip, a little workaround on how to deal with 
both channels being merged into one, like I mentioned earlier, you'll always have both transmitters sending to the same exact signal, and there's no way to separate the audio from the two different transmitters. Now, here's a little workaround. You can actually put an SD card on each of the transmitters and record those individually. So that way, if you really wanted the audio signal separately, then you can just work with the audio files of each transmitter and then work with those two in mono, so that way you can mix them separately. Now that is gonna add a few extra steps because now you're gonna have to take the files from the media, from the SD card, and then transfer that into your computer, then sync that in with the audio that was captured into the camera, and then you're gonna have to mute the camera audio and then now work only with the recorded files. Again, it's a little extra step, but that is a workaround if you really need the two audio files separate. Now one of the best parts of the Wii 10 Pro is how simple it is to use. Extremely user-friendly, not really confusing at all. Everything's self-explanatory. You have just a few buttons and they do what they're supposed to do. No crazy menus. You can literally just turn them on and you're good to go. So there you guys have it. That's the Wii 10 Pro made by Murfac Audio. This dual wireless microphone system is very budget friendly, retailing at only 250 US dollars. I do have links in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.